Pop Kern's exclusive sponsor is 1933 Speakeasy Bar and Grill. Welcome back to Pop Kern. I'm Karen Hua, and you caught us just at the right time. The sun is starting to come out. It's been unusually cold for May, which is why we want to get you ready for summer. We're at the most iconic place downtown, the Padre Hotel. They're going to be stirring up some cocktails for us that you can make right at home. So let's get to it. Now I'm here with Crystal. She's the food and beverage manager here at the Padre. The weather's been so dreary. We need something to lift our spirits, if you will. Yes, so I'm gonna start off with the dark print. Summertime is the time for tequila. So, and <laughs> you can we, say that again. Yes, and we also use the Zill Black oh. Maple. So this is a local, from a local juicery, Zill Juices. And this has activated charcoal with alkaline water, a little bit of cayenne, uh, maple syrup, and lemon. Wow. So paired with this, it makes the most refreshing cocktail. You're going to start off with an ounce and a half of the Mezcal cocktail. This tequila is a little bit on the smoky side. Okay. So I use a dash of lemon juice, and we call this the dark print, and we named it that because obviously the Padre is a little haunted. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> this cocktail comes out quite dark and mysterious. What is a haunted story from the Padre? We have a handprint that is in our pharmacy cafe, and no matter how many times we paint it, or cover it up, it just magically appears all by itself. I've never heard that story before. Yes, <laughs> yes. Who do you think it is? Is it a ghost? Is it a... To me, it looks like a paw print, but it is a child's hand print. So I'm just going to shake this on ice for about 10 to 15 seconds. Ooh, look at that smoky color right there. Dash of cayenne. Ooh. Okay, so Crystal, what's next? This is our version of a Moscow Mule. Classic. The only difference is, is we don't use ginger beer. We oh. make our own in-house ginger syrup. So I'm going to do an ounce and a half of the Tito's vodka. And Moscow Mule traditionally is with vodka. But what I love about this cocktail is it's very versatile. You can use tequila, whiskey, make a Kentucky Mule, um, gin. You can essentially use any type Whatever of- Whatever floats your boat? Yes. So ginger syrup, we're going to do an ounce and a half of this. And what's in ginger syrup? So fresh ginger, we press that and then we combine it with simple syrup. One to three ratio. We do just a dash of lime. If you don't like tasting the tequila or the vodka or anything and you want it to be balanced, just shake your cocktail up a bit and it'll smooth it over. Okay. This is my contribution. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're just gonna top it off with some soda water. And then I like to garnish it with Ooh. some fresh mint, but you definitely don't have to. And I always slap my um, herbs just because it opens up the aromas. So I've as never you, heard of that. So as you go to drink it, you can smell the mint. It smells so incredibly fresh. Yeah, two down, two to go. What's next? So we're gonna be doing a classic Padre Margarita. And look at this fun cup. All right, so we're just going to do a ounce and a half of tequila, a quarter of triple sec, and then house mix. House mix? Sorry. So house mix is essentially equal parts lemon, lime, simple syrup, which is sugar water. You know, I'll admit I am not a cook, not mm -hmm. any sort of chef, but that's mm -hmm. simple enough that I could do yes. it. Anybody can make it at home, but it's very easy to do. Shake it up. <laughs> wow, filled to the brim. There we go. <laughs> My favorite cocktail is going to be next, the downtown cooler. Okay. It is with our Zill Morning Glory. So we got more pressed juice here, and yes. if it's pressed juice, it must be healthy, right? Yes. This has watermelon, orange, um, strawberry and basil. Perfect to drink in the morning. Well, it's five o'clock somewhere, right? Yes, it is. So we are just going to be using Tito's vodka and I do an ounce and a half. We are going to add a dash of the balsamic vinegar. Ooh. And this a little bit goes a long way. That's amazing. And for those people who might not have access to this exact juice, 
how can they sort of replicate this or like the charcoal drink? You can do some fresh watermelon and fresh strawberries and muddle it. You'll just have to double straighten it. We're gonna shake it up for about 10 to 15 seconds. Then I do a slap of basil for garnish and you feather it around. Does that actually do anything? Or is it more for show? I like to feather it around the rim because whether if I'm drinking it here or here or there, you can smell the basil. It really so, does make a difference. <clears throat> yes, this would be perfect with summer salad, maybe like some bruschetta, an appetizer, something very light. Well, I love that we've made so many delicious cocktails. Let's get some tasting in. Yes. Well, bottoms up. Never Cheers. too early, she said. <laughs> oh my gosh, so citrusy, so light, so refreshing. Oof, this is the one I've been eyeing. This really, the color just screams summer. Yes, very refreshing. You get the watermelon, strawberry, and basil right from the start. Padre Mule. And how do you develop all these recipes? My guests inspire me, and they talk about what their flavors they like, and mm -hmm. build cocktails that are seasonal and geared toward Bakersfield people. Last one here. You know, this looks like a daunting drink, but <laughs> like you said, it's it's fruity, it's citrusy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the flavor profile on this is insane. Yes, very complex, but you get the smokiness, the activated coconut charcoal. It just, it feels like walking into a campfire. I don't know how else to describe <laughs> it. Thank you so much, Crystal, You're for welcome. having us. You're welcome. We I will be back, <laughs> guarantee we will be back. Thank you guys so much for joining us this week for Popcorn. We will catch you back here next Friday at noon. But up, Crystal, how long have you ma been making drink? Blah, I'm so sorry. And.